thehomerecordist.com. Hey y'all, um, this is a video about doing a voiceover, so uh, you would use this if you were doing something in radio or uh, something, but it also kind of goes into how you would set up a side chain and some uh, busing in the mixer, so even if you're not going to use it for um, uh, ducking and voiceover, um, it would probably still be beneficial to look at to see kind of how Logic's insides work a little bit, and it's short, so uh, enjoy. Okay, so we're going to continue talking about side chaining here. And uh, here I'm going to do another kind of typical thing that you use the side chain for. Uh, so I have this backing track um, that I've recorded. And then I also have this voiceover um, right here. Welcome to thehomerecordist.com, your source for logic. So what I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do kind of like a commercial for my website. And um, so I want to play these both at the same time I want the backing track to start and then the voiceover and let's give it a listen welcome to the homerecordist.com your source for logic video tutorials so you can kinda of make out what I'm saying but it's not super clear because the music's uh, recording to it and I have a couple options I can just uh, or the the recording is interfering with it and so I can turn down the music um, and this kinda of, kinda of jack up my balance or I can turn up the voice and that's going to do the same thing and so in radio they do a thing called ducking and that's what I'm going to show you uh, how to do it now so the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, send these to their own bus so I'm going to press command 2 to oops <laughs> oh yeah that's right that looks weird okay uh, to bring up my mixer and I'm going to create a new bus for all my instruments uh, for the instrumental so we're going to make it a stereo bus Number one, I'm going to set the input of it to bus one. So I'm just going to name it music. And now I'm just going to send the output of these two instrument channels to that bus. So now when I play home recording tips and tricks and long format articles about audio engineering. Thanks for stopping by. I have control over the volume there. And I need to turn that down a little bit. Turn that down. Okay, so the, the way a ducker works is it takes information from the, uh, the voiceover and uses that to control the volume of the music tracks. And I'll show you how it works. We're going to go to Dynamics, Compressor, Stereo. So um, what, what this would do right now is I can treat it like a regular compressor. Excellent. Turn that stuff up too high. Okay. So right now it's um, listening to the the music tracks to control the compressor. But I can actually make it listen instead of to itself. I can make it listen to the voiceover. Um, so now let's see what it does. Let's go back to where the voiceover starts. Welcome to the homerecordist.com. So uh, you can hear it working a little bit, it's turning it down, but I want it to be a little bit more severe. So I'm going to turn the ratio up. Let's give it a try now. Welcome to thehomerecordist.com, your source for logic video tutorials, home recording tips and tricks, and long format articles about audio engineering. Thanks. So by playing with the ratio and the compressor control, the threshold, I can control how much it turns it down when it gets uh, input from this audio channel. Um, and I did that through the side chain, so the it listens to this channel to do the what it would normally do for just a regular compressor. Um, so the only thing that I've left to do is the uh, the release. It's kind of um, pulsing a little bit, um, so I can use the release. So now it's going to be full volume. Welcome to thehomerecordist.com, your source for logic video tutorials home recording tips and tricks, and long format articles about audio engineering. Thanks for stopping by. And so you could do this, you could go through and uh, paint it all in, but um, this is a pretty fast and efficient way to do it. And if you're recording live, like in a podcast or something, and you don't want to have to go in and mix it later, this is a great way to do it. Um, and it's just another way to use that um, uh, side chain. And so I will uh, show you how to do another one in just a minute.
Enjoy. The Home Recordist. Dot com.